Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for a new video. Today y'all, this video tested me and it tested me good. I started out doing a, a split cup straight pour and I did not like how it came out. Then I converted over to do a split cup wandering straight pour. And again, was not happy with the result. It was better than the first, but I thought myself, I can't leave this. I don't like it. I don't want to scrape all the paint off again. So I did a third pour and what this ended up being was a sandwich pour. This was a save. I am so glad I reported it for a third time. What do they say, third time's a charm? So I'm very happy with the end result. However, you won't see the dried result today because I have to go to work. I have to work a few days before Thanksgiving. So hope you enjoyed the video. I do apologize for the length of it because it's gonna be a little bit longer, but I am gonna speed you up so you don't have to see all of this drag out so <laughs> all right everyone let's get down on the canvas and let's start painting i'll be right back okay guys so what i've got is an 18 by 24 gallery wrap canvas i got it taped and push pinned on the back uh this was a painting that i did that i didn't like so i scraped it off and i let it dry so i'm gonna repurpose that my colors today i'm using is deco art in the deep sapphire blue which i really love this color so much uh, I'm going to be blending that with the Deco Art in the Jadeite, Amsterdam in bronze, titanium white from Amsterdam mixed with Deco Art satin enamels, the Azo orange from Amsterdam, and Amsterdam in the yellow lemon. And I'm going to be combining the orange and the yellow together. I'm going to be using my split chamber cup. This is a 32 ounce cup. I only need about 16 ounces of paint. So I'm not going to, I'm only going to fill it up about three quarters of the way. And I'm going to do that Fiona style straight pour. So let's get started layering up the cup. All right. So my first chamber is um, going to be my sap deep sapphire blue and my jadeite. Uh, I find that the metallics of deco art will take over a painting. And so I am going to be splitting up these two colors. One, because this is only a four chamber cup, but two, I don't want the sapphire blue to take over so much. So I am going to do two layers of each color. My pouring medium today is Liquitex gloss medium. Lower trawl and water. All right. And then I'm going to layer in my bronze. White. Uh, let's see here. Let's put in the orange. Definitely have more paint in the outside chambers than I do my inside chambers. So we're gonna see how well this pops out. All right, we're gonna do like a wandering straight pour in the Fiona style. So I'm gonna end up getting my outside chambers coming out first because I've got more paint in them. You 
want to make sure as you're pouring, keep the back end of your cup up so that the paint continues to flow out of the cup. what's left in here to help as flow extender. Just gonna dump that down on the side. All right, got some really wispy lines through here. It's gonna stretch out really cool. Got a lot of paint on the canvas, so I'm gonna be able to keep a lot of the composition. We'll see how well this stretches out. Got a little flow extender here. All right, the weight of the paint is definitely over here. I can just tell by looking at it. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to bring it this way first. Bring it back. Still have a lot of paint on here. You can see it moving very quickly, which is great because it's gonna allow me to open things up and see what I like and what I don't like and what I decide I want to take off. Let's look at this. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna report this, but I'm not gonna report it out of my split cup because I already rinsed it out with water so it's still wet. Um, I am gonna swap this over for a sandwich pour. See how that comes out. I don't have enough paints mixed up to do a uh to clean out my cup and be able to do another one because i'm also running short on time because i do have to go to work today so i'm gonna put a little white here in the bottom and let's throw in some color put some deep sapphire blue and i'm gonna have a lot of layers in here
top this off with the last bit of white. Since I have all this paint left on the ca on the cab canvas, I don't need to add any more, so this will act as my flow extender. So we're gonna flip right here. One, two, three. Kind of messy. It's all right. And then what I'll do is I'll lift and just bring it this way. Okay. So I'm slowly just lift up just a little bit to let a little bit of paint out. And we're gonna lift and swipe around. Lots and lots of color under this white. You can see it there. I'm gonna torch this. We're gonna let these cells develop. All right, let's start moving this around, see what unearths in all this white. Weight of the paint's probably gonna be right around in here. Let's see. gonna do another pour I don't like it not enough color in there third time is gonna be at the charm right so the reason why I'm repouring this again is I don't like that I didn't get any color in here and I did a sandwich pour and I dribbled the paints in and I don't like that so this time I'm gonna pour some paints in want to get a lot of color in here. My paints are a little thinner than normal too. was so full so I was gonna get a nasty splatter but this time I'm gonna have a lot more color in this this was gave me that marble look which I didn't hate I just want a little bit more color in here a little bit more vibrancy to it lift up 
loose a little bit. There's the color. Lift up, lift up, lift up, and out. That's what I was looking for. Now the cells are popping up. I like this, I like that marbling look that I did with this second pour because now you're starting to see the colors to come up through there, but it wasn't enough for me. I didn't like that. You can leave it the way it is and leave that color there, but to me, it just wasn't enough color for me. All right, I think the weight of the paint's gonna be here, so we're gonna go to this corner first. She goes around. She owns it. So many heartbreaks goes back to 2014, and I think that she knows it. And if you've seen her, I know that you would believe it, cause I I know that you'd want her to. Yeah, I do. Everyone's taking their shot, but missing out on the cut. I think she knows that she drives some crazy when she's looking like that. She's moving, makes them want it so bad It's the attention that we wish that we had yeah, it's almost cruel Cause I want her to Oh yeah, I want it in circles Just to make her react My heart is racing Yeah, I want her so bad I want to kiss her But I know for a fact That she's way too cool But I want her to Oh yeah, I skinny jeans And tattoos on both Goddamn, she's so fly. Knows how to write a good song. At least better than this. Cause if you've seen her, I know that you would believe it. Cause I, I know that you want her to. Yeah, I do. Come on and give it a shot. But you'll be missing the cut. I think she knows that. She drives me crazy when she's looking like that. The way she's moving. Makes them want it so bad Gets the attention that we wish that we had yeah, it's almost cruel Cause I want her to Oh yeah, I'm burning in circles Just to make her react My heart is freezing Yeah, I want her so bad I wanna kiss her But I know for a fact That she's way too cool But I want her to Oh yeah She knows that she does some crazy when she's looking like that. The way she's moving makes them want it so bad. It's the attention that we wish that we had. It's almost cruel, cause I want her to. Oh, yeah, I'm in circles just to make her react. That I can live with. Okay, I'm gonna give this a torch. I'm gonna to clamp the edges and I'll bring you guys in. All right, here's the wet result. So, man, I had to work for this one. This is a much better pour than the first two. Just wasn't happy with it and I refused to just scrape the paint and keep starting over and mixing paint. So that's why I converted over to a sandwich pour. Uh, let me bring you in. I'm loving the cell action in this. I'm loving the composition. This is really, really cool and I'm glad I decided to switch over. So let me bring you in.
Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was hard. I, um, I had to work for that. I'm very, very happy with this result as far as it looking wet. We shall see how it dries. I do apologize. I can't show you the dried but result because I am off uh, flying and fly in the blue skies. So as soon as I get back home, I will be uh, making some other videos and I'll throw the dried result of this one in that video. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That'll let you uh, know when I post new video content. Everyone, have a great day. Have a happy Thanksgiving, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.